Hello everybody, welcome back. Another TTM in the mailbox. They're starting to trickle in a little. Uh, it's nice to see some more coming in. It has been a real slow go as of late. But this one came back October the 8th from Minneapolis. So, could be hockey. We have hockey. Jared Spurgeon and Minnesota Wild. So, you know what? Quick impromptu shout out to Julie Farnham on YouTube. She is awesome. She's a big Wild fan and just an all around awesome person. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave a link to her channel down below in a comment. So, that's awesome. Personalized. Nice looking card, nice looking signature. What is it? 2020 MVP. Um, let's pause and see when I sent this. Alright. And we are back. Um, that's awesome. I actually sent this to Mr. Spurgeon, care of the Minnesota Wild. You can find their address on their website up in uh, St. Paul. Or at least it was where their mailing address is. I sent it on March the 8th, 2021. So, and getting close to the middle of the, as it was the uh, COVID shortened 2020, 2021 NHL season. Uh, so March the 8th came back on October the 8th. So, it's 214 days, or basically seven months to the day. That's really cool. I, I'm, I'm happy about that. He is, he is a defenseman and actually was named their team captain for starting with the COVID-shortened season. He's one of those guys that may not, quote-unquote, put up a ton of numbers, but... The defenseman especially is a position, what they would call the intangibles, the things that are very necessary to a team and their success that can't technically be measured on a stat sheet. So for him, I know he's a real good puck handler, real good passer, just real good uh, clearing junk out from around the front of the net. Just a great player. Uh, from what I understand, a pretty big fan favorite, and uh, Julie Farnham can correct me if I'm wrong, as you know I'm not in that market and I'm a Penguins fan. But he's been with the Wild I, the entirety of his career. Uh, I know he was drafted by I want to say the Islanders, Islanders or the Rangers, I think Islanders, but they didn't offer him a contract. Uh, the Wild did, and it is panned out for him. He's well over 700 games at this point, I would say. He's been there since the 2010-2011 season and been a really strong contributor to that team. Uh, minor leagues played a bit of a season in the AHL. A good career in the junior leagues up in the Western Hockey League. Uh, actually won a Memorial Cup in 2008. And the Memorial Cup is the champion of all the Canadian Junior Leagues. And he also won the, uh, was part of the uh, WHL uh, championship winning season in the same year, 2008. And that is the Ed, uh, Ed Chenoweth Cup, I think. Pretty sure. May have butchered the pronunciation. But uh, that's par for the course at this point. So there you go. Really nice signed card and it's nice to see a lot of times uh, some teams I know are very finicky about sending them things I have not really run into an NHL team that says don't send us stuff with the exception of the Tampa Bay Lightning although they may have changed that I haven't tried them uh, maybe I'll give them a try this upcoming hockey season I've got a few cards to send out but the Wild are a good team for sending to, so let me know what you thought. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm excited about this one, personalized it, so this is getting sleeved up uh, as soon as I'm done here. And 
Don't forget down below, check out Julie Farnham if you haven't already. Most of you probably have, but if not, please do so. And we'll see what happens this upcoming hockey season.